हेलो आई एम सैकत पाइन मार्केटर क्रिएटिव एंड ऑल अराउंड एल्फा नर्ड वेलकम टू द यू इनकॉपरेटेड पॉडकास्ट ऑन दिस शो आई कैच अप विथ बैड एस ऑन्टरप्रनोर्स मार्केटर्स स्टोरी टेलर्स एंड कॉन्टेंट क्रिएटर्स टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ दे बिल्ड देयर पर्सनल ब्रांड्स देयर वॉइसिस देयर वे If you want to carve out an individual agenda with your work and take charge of your own narrative, you are in the right place. Hello, hello. Welcome to the You Incorporated podcast. Please join me in welcoming Gayatri Patel. the co-founder of G Story a Mumbai based creative agency that offers product photography and product styling solutions over the past 2 years gayatri has worked with over 60 brands including the likes of gucci nike lacme body shop mac ole gotrej loreal among others helping them create gorgeous visual content that drives their brand narratives forward welcome to the podcast gayatri So tell me if I am the founder of a DTC retail brand why is it even important for me to consider a product photo shoot you know that's a very interesting question especially in a world where everything has gone digital more so in fact after the covid-19 pandemic uh, social media platforms are populated with so much content and with everyone scrolling through social media the speed of lightning it is very important for your brand to kind of you know rise above the clutter and stand out amongst the so many other players out there and have a visual voice of its own and uh, creative photo shoots be it product or you know talent shoots help you do just that it literally helps you bring the brand and product alive and narrate a story which kind of helps you entice your audience so tell me how do you take clients through a product photo shoot when do i come to you when is the right time for me as a founder to approach you for a product photo shoot so it could be for a launch of you know a new product that you are going to introduce or it could just be as a sustenance content you know for your social media uh, either or you could come when you have a brief in place and you have you know a strategy in place and right after that we would help you kind of chalk out the visual language for the same way wherein we literally bring that product to life right so how do i define brand elements that you can then translate into these gorgeous visuals uh, for my brand i think every brand you know has a very distinct story to tell every brand has its own usp for example some skin care brands uh, focus on the ingredients they use while um, a beauty brand can focus on the fact that they are cruelty free or uh, use vegan products so it is important to bring this core value that sets you apart from the rest of the brands alive through the visuals and having said that the attention span you know of an average consumer scrolling through digital platforms is ridiculously low which is why the visuals need to be striking to make one kind of stop stare and also redirect because at the end of the day it um, has to convert to sales so it's very important to kind of bring that brand story alive through the visuals that you create right so um now tell me this uh how do i come up with products that are inherently photogenic because uh just like people i'm sure there are some products that are easier to shoot and then there are products that are just so reflective that 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 they might be very very difficult to shoot so is it important as a founder for me to keep in mind as to how this product will appear uh you know in my social media promotions should that dictate product strategy as well or you think it's more of an afterthought as to uh how the product should appear uh in in promotional content i definitely don't think it should be an afterthought because um the brand language which includes the brand identity and the packaging is extremely crucial so um your products may look appealing with the naked eye but if they don't 
photograph well it could be a total miss so i suggest you know doing a thorough research on digital platforms of local as well as global brands see what they're doing um see what's looking appealing what's not looking appealing i also suggest you know talking to content creation agencies or product stylists and learning what are the limitations um you know we face while bringing a product alive through the visual med- mediums like images or videos because um when you want to cover your product in all of the different kinds of mediums be it images or videos or gifs you need to make sure that it kind of um translates well in all of the mediums and the more you talk to people you know within the field the more insight you get as to what works and what doesn't right so if i am a first time founder what are the couple of no nos right off the bat uh, that that would hamper me and and my agency from creating good visuals for my product i think one of the key points to keep in mind is uh, the brand identity the branding on the product needs to be legible and in order to do so it needs to kind of you know be big enough to make sure that it's registered with the consumers uh, especially because you know we did talk about how social media and i mean all digital media platforms are so populated that you need your product to be striking to kind of rise above that clutter and um secondly i think matte products really translate well uh in terms of you know photo shoots because they don't reflect a lot of um i mean they don't reflect at all which is why um it translates beautifully into you know visuals but having said that even the reflective products do but then it also depends on how you are positioning that product which also defines the visual strategy that you go forward with so i think just thorough research would be uh, extremely crucial in this space so just off the bat do some amount of research as to what your competitors are doing in terms of branding uh, number 2 try and not keep all your labels to be very very reflective because that creates some issues in terms of photography and number 3 is doing some amount of research in terms of how you'd like to position the products right because yes. that will then translate into visuals mm-hmm. right that was really helpful the branding has to come through with the product because because the branding will make the product stand out so it's important f- for the for the for the brand to translate into visuals uh, because the the product is the hero of the of the visual content right so the product has to stand on its own merit yes yes so for example see a very light pink colored product probably don't go for a white um color as the text you know or the label use something which is a little bit more darker so that when you actually you know shoot it for a video or a, or an image it actually stands out so if i am launching a brand dietri what are the first couple of videos that i must produce for my product let's imagine me as the founder of a sneaker brand right what okay. are the first couple of uh product videos that i must create to get the word out about my brand if you're a sneaker brand you must definitely create a video you where you're also showcasing a person wearing the sneakers because at the end of the day you need to also be relatable and in order to do that it's a lot more relatable when you see the product on a person and just see how it's looking um just you know really close cuts of the product wherein you show the details wherein you um you know bring out your collection and you also show the person probably you know um feeling confident because you also want to focus on how you feel once you use that product because that's a very very um crucial point to kind of put across because it instantly kind of connects with the consumer that's watching that video just to focus on that feeling that you get when you are using the product i think it's also very important to kind of you know showcase how your brand is different from the thousands of other other brands that are already in the market so to show that in your first few video showcases would be very very important and crucial in order to kind of entice 
your consumer right just show don't tell right don't tell me that it's comfortable just show me that it appears comfortable and i'll understand that uh, you know it is it is a, a a sneaker targeted for people who are you know keen on getting something more comfortable it's it's it just get me to understand from the visuals rather than putting a lot of text on the screen uh, that 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 you know sort of shouts uh the the product traits it's better for me to realize that on my own than be talked to and and being spoken to uh you know in a manner uh f- you know from the marketing team right right so let's now speak about this global trend towards minimalism in marketing right uh, every brand globally is going towards this design language where like you said less is more uh, and 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 product visuals are meant to be just a way uh, for brands to showcase uh, their products and not much else uh, so there's none of the charade of you know very bright very sort of popping uh, visuals and, and and a lot of uh sort of uh, elements in the background uh it's it's pretty much crisp clean and just a product with a very smart uh sort of a copywriting line so is that true for indian uh, advertising or as well or do you think indian advertising is still sort of holding on to its maximalist slightly more vivid imagery uh and slightly more vivid uh product visuals and uh, video No in fact I feel like a lot of brands now are taking the minimalist route and it's extremely refreshing to see um brands doing that because as they say less is more and um minimalism definitely makes for a very striking visual strategy because um this way your product is the hero of the visual be it an image be it a video or be it you know even a gif and uh, this is very important in order to create a recall value for your consumer because um like you know we discussed that social media is a very very populated pot platform and in order to kind of stand out you need to have a very striking visual and if there are too many elements in a visual it could be a total miss and it may not create that recall value for your brand so it's very important for the consumer to register the brand or product that they are seeing so um it almost works like a movie wherein there can only be one hero and all of the other elements that you probably use in the frame could be you know the supporting actors or the supporting cast that just kind of help you tell your story better they don't have to kind of take center stage your product can take the center stage and these elements can just kind of help you tell your story a little bit better and uh, that way it makes for a very striking visual and um, there was something that i read in design school that stayed with me and uh, it's something that i apply to my work till today and um, that was good design is not when there is nothing left to add but when there is nothing left to take away and um it's a very meaningful line and that stayed with me and it's something that i kind of you know try to apply to my work as well right right now tell me guys three there's also been this trend of virtual photography right there are brands like three kit that are coming up uh where you can click a bunch of photos of your product from various angles these are spe- i uh, you know primarily for e-commerce um uh, you know either big bulky products that might be a bit difficult to fo- uh, you know uh, take photos of in uh, a traditional studio setting uh, some of these are just uh, you know pure play e-commerce products like clothes or uh, or or uh, you know even uh, other sort of uh, other products uh from healthcare uh and and uh and uh, apparel and and accessories right do you think over the longer uh you know uh, period of 5 or 10 years that these virtual photos uh and and virtual f- photography brands would be the future of modern e-commerce because 
e-commerce is also at a certain level about uh, you know being able to onboard these products and from our conversation it seems to me that uh, shooting a product would need a lot of technical expertise on the part of the photographer right uh, especially for dtc brands that might be uh, you know a bit of a luxury on day one uh, so do you think that there is real potential in virtual photography i mean it's definitely great to see technology advance so much um but at the same time of course technology cannot give you the distinctness you know of a creative mind or it cannot um show you the reality of that product and its textures of course you know it is accurate to a certain level but um you know it cannot definitely give you conceptualized campaigns that set your brand apart but if you're using this for e-commerce it could definitely be a quick fix to kind of you know um get your product out there like you mentioned for uh bulky products it could be really really you know easy to kind of photograph your product and then put it up on your e-commerce website uh, but i think only the future will tell us you know what virtual photography or you know even artificial intelligence for that matter or um holds for us because it's still i think i would say a little bit of a distant future away because it needs to i mean we also sorry i like to just go again because we also need to make sure that while you are photographing these products virtually they also kind of you know look as real as possible so that's i think key because now everyone purchasing products on e-commerce want to see the product as real as possible so especially with you know apparels it's very very crucial to show the actual color the actual texture show them real to an extent that they the consumer exactly knows you know what they are getting at the end of the day because um that's quite crucial i would say So tell me Gayatri if I am the founder of a, of a retail brand and I want to reach out to G Story uh how do I do that You can reach out to us on Instagram our Instagram handle is the G Story um you can probably DM us or you could um get in touch with us even on LinkedIn and then we will happy we will be happy to help you and take it forward from there There you have it folks in case you do want some gorgeous visuals for your brand or you'd want to get a photo shoot done for yourself or uh, uh, your colleagues or your products feel free to hit up gayatri uh, and she'll be happy to help you with some truly amazing shots of your products or your people with that it's a wrap on the you incorporated podcast thank you for listening we'll be back next week with another lovely guest Thank you for tuning into the You Incorporated podcast with me Sakat. You can write to me at contact at the rate sakatpine.com. That is s a i k a t p y n e dot com. DM me on most social platforms and check out my YouTube channel for more interesting content on personal branding, PR, and creativity. Catch you guys in the next episode. Thank you.